the New York Knicks, a member of the 1986 National Championship team under Denny Crum here at Louisville. The opening tip is controlled by the Rattlers in green. For the UCF, Illinois, Florida, and many others. That was knocked away, recovering defensively. Bigs that can switch out. That last time you saw Huntley Hatfield being able to play solid defense and come up with the block. Withers, catch and release, and it's all net. A guy that's a great distributor, being able to move that defense and getting Withers a wide open jump shot. Withers is shooting 37% from beyond the arc. 54% a season high in the victory on Wednesday. And they made 13 three-pointers. Curry on the interior. Ellis, steal. Two on one with James. The bounce pass. Hustling back. Back and knocked away by Bates. Never gave up on the play. That jumper comes up short from Bars. Up ahead, Curry. And he beat everybody to the rim. Great vision by L. Ellis. Curry has it on the baseline. Louisville went 13 of 25 on three-pointers, Brian, on Wednesday as Withers turns around and calculates the angle. The water shower he got in the locker room. Take in. Back in his way down for two, Brandon Huntley Hatfield. Louisville doing a good job of being able to hedge by the defender a little time, and then on certain occasions, he's a great back to a play. Unable to complete the play. We're inside of 10 minutes here in the first half. Stevens hanging and missing. Somehow the ball found him. Circus shot at Stevens with some flair and touch on that one. Driving Ellis through the defenders. James, that's a three. Came up short. But Huntley Hatfield was waiting for it. Huntley See, they Hatfield. got a good look out of the set, right, Brian? They got a good look out of the set, but then again, from Florida and them, they got to do a better job of being able to go. And you see, finally getting one to go. You see Smith being able to knock down that three. Stevens. Curry elevates. Ellis up ahead. Huntley Hatfield let the defender go on by and drops it in. And this is how you generate that offense. Limit the other team. You see a steal by Tillman. Great hands. Tillman shielding the defender with his body, and then he lays it in. This family uh, team has not had a lot of success with being able to shoot the three ball. Good pass over the bars. Just one of ten on three-point attempts. That's knocked away. Other end of the court. Oh! Luis June elevation and a rim bender. Well, they had some turnovers. You know, June being a turnover and said, you know what, jump if you want to. Ellis. Drew three defenders and lost it. Poor decision by Ellis. You see Florida being able to capitalize on that again. Louisville tries to extend that lead. Florida a &M gets a turnover. Yet another one by June being able to go for the and one Tom Gorman. Trying to back it in against Bates. Bounce wasn't there. Curry the follow after the miss from his teammate Huntley Hatfield at eight points. Stay disciplined what you've been able to do. Yet another deflection by Louisville. Ellis crosses it over and lays it in. Good start tonight, excuse me, this afternoon. Hit double digits on Wednesday with 10.6 boards prior to the game against the Hilltoppers as Curry scores on cue. Brian, he only had 15 points. And give him a touch and let him cook. Double-double, 10 points, 10 boards. First double-double of the season for Curry. Fourth of his career, Bates at the other end for the Rattler. They have played some very high-level competition on their schedule so far for the Rattlers. Ellis driving and scoring deep in the shot. You got a mammoth of a man in Sidney Curry setting that screen, and he gets a chance to get downhill for the finish. Four points for Ellis. Tillman off the backboard and in over Curry, and Tillman has four. As far as getting a lot of these guys a little bit more acclimated with the fundamentals of the game, and as you see, he's a great backdoor pass. And you see the nice finish. But back to the point is that it feels like his guys are starting to get a, yet another turnover as I talk about it. The Florida a &M tra and trap, and then you see Tillman with another basket. Just a second ago, the lead was 10, largest of the game.
for the Cardinals. They fight on the offensive glass, and Withers completes the play. Who followed the miss at the offensive end? Tillman. Tillman ripping the ropes for the Rattlers, and he's into double digit. Four points for Ellis. Both of those baskets coming in the second half. He was shut out in the first half. Bates straight away. That's a two. And so now, again, Louisville having problems with this for AM trap. They needed that one. A three pointer out of the corner, and it's land. They definitely needed that because up until now, you know, Louisville has struggled. One for 11 from behind the arc. Chapman hangs and scores at the other end. He's got five. He was the first Louisville player to do that since 2002. Curry got the miss and put it back up and out. Yeah, the big fella again, Sidney Curry being able to eat on the ball. Was silly. If the dribble pass knocked away. Issa was in the passing lane. Chapman glides to the rim for two, and the Rattlers refuse to go away. The Rattlers presenting a challenge to the Villa in their home court today. Withers, the kick. Trainer, that's a three ball. Louisville doing a good job of being able to get downhill and make the extra pass. Trainer again, dribbles, and it hits. J.J. Trainer going on a mini run on his own. On an 18 to 6 run against Florida AM. And Louisville's done a better job of being able to handle his press. You see Jalen Withers. Oh! He said no, he was denied. You see June going up. Well, that athleticism. It looks like Tom Wormy at the Y. <laughs> yeah, <right. He's>, he, <laughs> June was already up there waiting on him. Withers thought he had an easy dunk, but look at how high June goes up. We saw him being able to go up again. Look at that. Mind you. And no whistle. Absolutely. I, I actually didn't see a foul to be called. Stevens, that's a three, and he was fouled in the process. Got it back. Carving his way past three defenders. Up and in for James. And there was a foul. I'm not sure he saw June almost for another highlight putback. Tillman was stumbling. Off the glass and good for Tillman. He wanted to give J.J. Trainer. A touch, but he opted to float out to that three-point line, forcing LL to shoot the three. Stevens again, and that's a three. Coming in bounds, and now Ellis trying to get around three defenders. A twisting layup, but Ellis hits it. And, and this is where you want your best player to take over. Nine points for Ellis, all in the second half. Four of nine shooting. Tillman misfires. Bates over Curry and a foul against Louisville. A two-possession game with two minutes to go. Shot clock is inside a 10 for Tillman. Crosses it over and drives. Oh, but a block and by Sidney Curry. Curry blocked it. This is Lands. Shot clock's at five. Spins. Shoots and shorts. Bars has it. 1.15 to go on the game clock. Bates double teamed. He came up short, but silly. You got a two-possession game. Ellis drops it off. Curry misses in close. 40 seconds to go in regulation, Brian. Trying to work off a screen. Bars has to shoot a three. Out of bounds. Out of bounds off of Louisville. So Ellis to the line, Brian. He's one for three on free throws tonight. Potentially a three possession game. And if I'm for AM, I don't necessarily need three. I want to get and start to be a little bit more aggressive trying to get to the basket. Ellis up to 12 points. Ellis with another free throw. That should put a tight seal on this one. 61 53. Bates, acrobatic shot, made it.